Hollywood couple alert and prepare to be jealous. This is one hot set of lovebirds. Sophia, you're right. You're City's modern family star Sophia Vergara plus Joe Manganiello equals one sexy couple. New reports say the Magic Mike actor is making his move on Vergara. While the relationship is still in the early stages, sources say Manganiello has been smitten with the brunette bombshell for years. Not hard to see why. The pair apparently first met at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in May, which Vergara attended with then fiance Nick Loeb. The actress announced her split from Loeb via Twitter later that month. News of Vergara and Manganiello's budding romance comes just after Manganiello raved about the Colombian beauty in People's Hottest Bachelors issue. Looks like this is one bachelor off the market. It seems love is in the air, with Zac Efron and Michelle Rodriguez caught locking lips in Italy. The actors have been spending time abroad with a mutual friend, posting plenty of pictures on social media. The two have apparently been friends for years, but it appears their relationship is heating up. Efron is nearly 10 years younger than the Fast and the Furious star. Mila Kunis is mere months away from a brand new gig, being a mom. But does that mean she's giving up her other job, acting? Could be. In the August issue of W Magazine, Kunis says she doesn't eat and breathe acting and is just excited to be a, quote, full-time mom. The actress also opened up about her fiancé and baby daddy, Ashton Kutcher, revealing she had a lot of firsts with him, including her first kiss. That lip lock dates back to when the duo were co-stars on that 70s show. Kiss any girl you want. I choose you. Michael, that is the most romantic thing I've ever read, heard about, or seen on TV. Yeah, it was pretty romantic. Kunis calls Kutcher the love of her life, telling the magazine, we all get movie star crushes, I'm marrying mine. You can get the latest issue of W Magazine on your next issue app. Now, we all know Taylor Swift can write music, but now the singer is dabbling in journalism, writing about the future of music. And in true Taylor fashion, she's comparing it to romance. And now I see, now I see, now I see, e -e 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 -e. Swift recently penned an op-ed for the Wall Street Journal to address the music industry, writing that she believes it's not dying, but it's just now coming alive. The seven-time Grammy winner says artists can maintain their fans by considering it a romantic relationship. She wrote, I believe couples can stay in love for decades if they just continue to surprise each other. So why can't this love affair exist between an artist and their fans? Swift went on to say at this point in the music industry, the only real risk is being too afraid to take a risk at all. She may be the queen of pop, but even Madonna gets called in for jury duty. However, probably because she's the queen of pop, she gets dismissed from the job two hours later. Mad showed up at a Manhattan courthouse yesterday to respond to her civic summons, but didn't mingle with other prospective jurors. She did post this pic on Instagram with the caption, Serving my country, reporting to jury selection, along with the hashtag, It's hot in here. But it looks like the material girl's fame got in the way of her service to America, as court officials felt her celebrity presence could throw a wrench in the wheels of justice. I think seeing Madonna at injury probably would throw anyone off. But what do you think about Taylor's ideas on artist relationships with her fans? All you got to do is tweet us at NCity.